Gentlemen, happy February 1st, and it is a lovely steamy four degrees outside here in Northwest Indiana. What we are playing with today, and I know you're wondering, is we are going small bore. So uh, Terry Fox, I always have to say Terry Fox at Fox Air Power, Fox Air Power, Fox Air Power. Terry Fox at Fox Air Power sent me some small bore. Now this is the regulated Challenger 22. Okay, so in the past you saw me with the Challenger 25 that was unregulated, and then we put the regulator in it. Okay, this one comes already with the regulator in it. It just doesn't have the gauge. You don't see the gauge sticking out on the side showing what the bar is. So, I personally don't think the gauge is necessary, uh, so I'm happy that this is a nice, sleek look. So, the details on this are as so. It's a 4500 PSI fill. It has the fill probe up here, like most of the Challengers. It the bar, the regulator is set at 170 bar, which I think is pretty good for what we're dealing with. It has the power dial here. Now what is new is before this was a big flathead screw, now it's an Allen. Okay, so that's a little different. Full power is dead in the middle, and then you've got your gradients to turn it one way or the other to reduce the power flow. The reason that is, is if you're shooting a real lightweight pellet, you don't need it going, you know, full gazanga out. So right now we're doing some shooting and we're going between 30 and 40, you know, bullets per fill. So I'm going to be playing with this slightly. Uh, standard, it's got the, uh, the shroud on it. There's uh, five or six baffles in here, and the barrel is somewhere and somewhere around here, and then it's got the end, end piece, and then some crush washers and a bunch of baffles, and then the end plug. Uh, no barrel band. It's very tight right here. The small bore, nothing. It is actually pretty quiet as it is, so I don't need to add anything on this. Uh, if I did... I would still want a barrel band because anytime you add something, I want a little more. But there's just, there's no room for this. So in my opinion, if you were going to put a separate muffler, you'd unscrew the shroud. The muffler would screw on somewhere around here. And then now you've got this naked barrel. You're definitely going to want a barrel band. But as it sits, it's not necessary. Uh, has the dovetail 22 rail slots like most of them do. So you will need a some type of a pick rail adapter to put a regular scope on it unless you're going with, uh, you know, 22 rings. So that's what I happen to have. This is uh, one of the scopes that I use on all the different rifles. And so I got a small pick rail adapter in the back and then this sitting on top. And it also gives me plenty of room for the magazine. Now it's bolt action. Very simple. Uh, comes with two little magazines because it is 22 and so they are a little. If you go to Terry's website you can see the specs on all this. Um, I'll have to count this out to see what the shot count is. Uh, 14 or 15, I can't see, but when I stuff, we'll stuff some bullets in there, we'll figure it out. You know, I claim to be a bullet maker. I never claim to be a bright eyed person. So come along, we'll do some testing. Pretty much as cold indoor stuff is just about numbers and to get you familiar with the different products that are out there and available. Uh, but so far I'm liking this little 22. So we'll do some shooting and you can make your own informed decision because that's what I do, Mr. YouTube Influencer.
I'd rather have you make a informed decision than just listen to me. All right, guys, we'll be back in a few seconds shooting. So these are the 22 bullets I'll be playing with today. Uh, we've got a 28 grain, this 35, a 36 solid, and then a, one, a 38 uh, hollow point. Now, I do have to size all of these, 217. Um, you know, I can do 218 or 219 based on what you think you need, but I'm starting with 217. That seems to be the average. So we'll start with these and get it loaded up and see what type of uh, numbers we come up with. Okay, 48 shots. Okay, so the magazine holds 12, four magazines, 4,500 PSI starting, stopping at about 30, 37, 38. Um, oh wait, no, excuse me, uh, 2,800 PSI. Couldn't see. So we're getting a little bit of a bell curve. The we're starting in the high 700s and ending in the high 800s. Uh, the high 800s, right around shot 15, 16. Uh, that's when we start peaking the nines. And it stays in the high, the middle to the high nines, all the way through, and starts coming down. So somewhere around 3,600 psi is going to be the sweet spot. So it depends on how many mags you want to run through, or how many shots you want. But from 800 to 885 for 48 shots, it's pretty good. Uh, the spread between bullets, three, four feet a second on each one. So it starts to climb, peaks, and then starts to come back down. That's your bell curve. Uh, so that's with the 28 grain. And I've got the power setting set like one big notch short of full power. No, I'm getting 48. So we'll try another one and see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm hoping this is going to be somewhat clear. Uh, but as you can see, I'm not at max power. I'm at that knot right there, whatever that's going to equal out to. And that's giving me 40 shots. Um, I know if I go to max, I can tweak some more out of it. But I also know that going too fast with lighter bullets, they start to get crazy and haywire. So that is where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, once it's warmer and I can get outside, we can definitely start doing some groupings. Uh, not being a small bore technician, I kind of unfamiliar on what 22 caliber speeds should be. So we're going to be just running through the numbers and see what we come up with. I'll uh, fast forward all of this um, because it's going to be boring as can be. So right now uh, we've taken. Uh, three shots and the speed is climbing I'm shooting with the 128 grain Well, now that we've shot the rifle, four different weights, it is fun. I have to admit it, it is fun. 
Now I played around with the power dial. I started at low, worked my way up to high, and then backed it off uh, about the three-quarter way, which you'll see in you know in the video in the close-up. So on full power setting, I was doing about 30 shots, starting at 4,500 psi. Backing it off a, a, a two hash marks or whatever you want to refer to it as, um, 4,500 psi would give me 40 shots. Well, not 40 really. It's since it's 12 shot. It's 12 shots per magazine. So I did a shot four magazine. So 48. So yeah, 48 um, versus three magazines, which was 36. All right. So. Anyways, I'm not a math magician, all right? So, full power definitely gives you a little more kick, but you got to have the slightly heavier lead. The lighter pellets, you know, going over a thousand feet a second or bullets, uh, will get a little squirrely. So that's another reason I backed it down. Uh, I'm trying to get more pinpoint accuracy from just going for a few foot-pounds of energy. Uh, everything gave me basically... Uh, well, the 28 grain was a 40 to 60 foot pound spread. Uh, the 35, the 36, and the 38 were almost identical. That's give or take 50 foot pounds to 73, 74 foot pounds. Uh, you know, I'll put some chart numbers up, but it's. Yeah, as you can see in my chart here, I got 48 shots on each one of these. Pay attention! It's almost all the same, you know, 812, 813, 814, blah, 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 902, 910, 915, blah, 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 978, 979, 976, 950, 955, down to like, you know, 840, 830, as you're getting to 48, you know, so the sweet spot's right around 3600 PSI, so if you're looking to be the most power that's right around the sweet spot. Uh, but then that's also, you're about halfway through the second magazine at that point if you were doing that. So uh, 36, let's see, 48 minus one mag would be 36. Take off six. So you'd have about 30 shots, give or take, you know, 30, 25 to 30 at 3,600 PSI. So yeah, I feel like, Marty McFly of Back to the Future here. So anyways, we shot some ballistic gel. So this is the ballistic gel. And you can see the 28 grain, it, it had about th entered about three inches into the gel, but literally just flattened out. The 35, which is a little boat tail design, uh, it mushroomed really nice. It went about six inches. And then the 38, which is heavier, um, so it's uh, slower I guess it didn't uh, it mushroom but it didn't mushroom the way I thought it would so it's not bad uh, but I think this one the 38 needs to be on full power instead of maybe three-quarter power and as you can see those you know you're not getting that monster penetration like you are with the big bore but the, uh, the 28, you know, it's about three inches in. So, I mean, you saw how it mushroomed out. If you hit a squirrel or a rabbit with that, I, I know it's going to do a job. The 35 and the 38, also more penetration, slightly bigger animals. I could definitely see some knockdown on small game with those. Uh, 22 Challenger, very nice gun. Uh, kind of attack driver at least down here with what I'm seeing because all the, the speeds are almost all identical You are going to get a little bit of a you know you're starting up then coming down So you are going to have kind of a little spread uh, But even here, you know, I'm just putting Five shots in a hole moving to the next spot five in that hole moving at five It's it's very good every now and then of course with cast bullets You get one that just zings off, you know might be half an inch out of the circle I can't control that. That's just the nature of hand casting. But in general, I am pleased with this 22. Now, I guess I need to go kill something with it. 
Uh, Terry Fox, thank you so much. This, I'm really pleased with the Challenger. Uh, like I said, it's, I don't really care in the videos, but it is pretty quiet. It doesn't really need any extra add-ons. Um, I don't know the weight. I don't really care. It's a 22. Um, so, but, like I said, you get your power dial. It's got a regulator built in already. Uh, you know, 4,500 PSI down to around 25, 26 for 40 shots with the little setting that I've done. Any other questions about this rifle, contact Terry Fox at Fox Air. Fox Air Power. Anything about bullets, contact Robert Vogel, a.k.a. Mr. Hollow Point. Um, again, indoor videos aren't super exciting because there's not a lot to do. But basically, it's an open box video, so we're learning all about the, the details and the functions. And you can hear my voice is starting to get scratchy because that's what happens when you're an asthmatic. And you've got horrible allergies, and you got a big hairy ass cat. So <clears throat> all my hacking eventually gets to me. Thank you guys for watching on this frozen February morning. Mr. Hollow Point out. We'll come <laughs> come back at you with another one. Hopefully not too long from now. Thanks for watching.